Oh, hey, welcome back. If you haven't heard the news, we are opening a kids' toy and clothing store. It's called Duck Duck Blue. And the last few weeks, this week included, we have been yard selling our little hearts out to buy stock for said store. That's everything you see behind me, including that giant pile on the floor, which is everything we just bought at yard sales this weekend. So if you wanna know what's in that giant pile, stick around for that, but also stick around because you might see a couple new store fixtures and things behind me that uh, I'm very excited to show you. Not only uh, the pickups where we picked them up, but also some of the work we did on them to make them fit our store. So stick around for all that. What is this? Okay. <laughs> All right. I gotta know. My well, son had a project at school. He had to have a, a building of a building of Owensboro. So I made this out of I took styrofoam and I covered it with thin set material you put tile down with. Yeah. And roughed it out. I actually made and this is concrete board to make it look like the roof. Sure. Uh, I remember it. Okay. There's a lot of people doing it. My next door neighbor says, What? Yeah. Said, best, no. best Buy? Yeah, yeah, I said, it's where Best Buy is. He goes, what? That was the first sale, and I just bought a Toys R Us star diorama. What the heck? <laughs> it's crazy. That was pretty cool. I'm going to put it on, like, a, a top shelf in the store somewhere. It was cool. He was very excited to tell the story. Yeah. So he's excited. We're excited about it. I would like these pins. Do you think we'd sell all those? How much do you think? I know it's hard. Uh, I know there's over 100. I'll do 50. Okay, I'll do that. Well, I guess we're going to the Disney pin business because this was a friend of mine's yard sale, so I didn't want to blast them with a camera, but uh, a bunch of Pokemon cards and probably another 200 Disney pins, some gaming stuff. Pretty good. How much you got on it? Ooh, it's a little busted in. Five bucks. Okay, I'll take it. He had a bag too. You got games for it, do you? Nah, he keeps them. Okay. Do you have any more video game stuff I'm not seeing? Uh, what are those? Cards. Five dollars. How much you have on those? Twenty for all. I honestly don't know what they are. Well, it says right there. Oh, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons okay. and Dragons. Did you see the twenty dollar Wii that also had Kirby with it? That's awesome. I didn't get this on camera while I was there. I don't think I might have, but twenty dollars for all these Magic the Gathering cards. I bought them because they're first edition. The first to uh, not Magic oh, Gathering. No. I'm stupid. Dungeons and Dragons. Spellfire Master of the Magic. A lot of the first edition stuff like this is was selling pretty well on eBay, so not bad. Just too much already to look at. And I'm not as pumped about anything as I am the Toys R Us building. What'd you buy? 20 pairs of shoes and 100 articles of kids' clothes. Nice. 45. That is a real life wild peacock. Let's see it. That's crazy. Never seen a peacock while yard selling, have you? <laughs> you know if this is a lava lamp or is it just a glitter lamp? It, it probably, it, it moves a little bit. It ain't them big blobs like yeah, okay. all that glitter, I think just takes the... There's 11 and there's nine for the time. Right, thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Might even just drive over here and pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Still haven't topped the Toys R Us diorama, but I've come close because that is the best fifteen dollars worth of Lego I've ever bought. Let's go. So this was a pretty good find. When I saw it, I thought it was just like the cheap Target one that are ten dollars new, but this is the like one hundred fifty dollar 
what do they call it, Black Series or something like that. I almost, I, I thought it was the cheap one, and I'd like to find the cheap $10 costume one so I could paint it blue and yellow for the store colors. $40 Wii. No games. This, though, is about a $120 camera, so get it. You know, if you have a price on it, feel free to make an offer or... How much for this stuff here that I've piled up? Uh, oh, they're all squeaky. What do you say about 35 for all of it? For everything? Yeah. I'll do 30. 30. 30. <laughs> I'll make sure I have cards real quick. Is all this for sale or? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me take some stuff that's not video game related and talk about the price. Um, how much do you think for just all this tub? For what do you mean that? Yeah, just all of this. What you got in your hands and what's in the bucket. Minus what do we need? I don't know. Would you pay 20? I'll give you 20 for it. 27 pairs of shoes for 20. All there. Okay. You got enough shoes yet? These people are tired of shoes. <laughs> no. No problem. No, thanks. Hey, thank you. Let's see your shoes. Very nice. <laughs> okay, that was all for Thursday's yard sales. Friday yard sales are still to come in this video, so don't go anywhere. But let's jump into some of the other stuff that happened this week before we get to it because we had some crazy finds at thrift stores and our marketplace. And you gotta see those too because I don't want you to get behind knowing what we've done to the store. I'm sitting outside of St. Vincent de Paul waiting for it to open and there's always a crazy line and I usually do find something when I show up and open. I should make a habit of being here every day and open but I don't want to. Let's go see if we can find something though. Six dollar bag of Skyland. I am for sure, for sure gonna buy that. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Straight into the Skylander bin, but it's gonna like double the amount that we have, so. We're just about to settle down the house and find a nice uh, Facebook marketplace find, though this one is not free, I'm paying for it. But it is a Ray-Ban glasses cabinet that I'm pretty certain I can modify into something super special, so stick around to see what. Oh. It looks great, and it is plexiglass, isn't yeah. it? That's even better. That's what I was hoping. Yeah. And the key works, and then the storage down there. Fantastic. Yeah. I would actually turn it into a Lego display awesome. for a store. It lights up, uh, but I don't have the uh, rest of the cooler seat. Oh, okay. So I, can, I, can, uh, what? I can figure that out. Yeah, 24 volts. So 24 volts off go the same size. Yeah. Yeah. I can figure that out for sure. All right, let me tell you. Look at this absolute beauty. I haven't even turned the lights on yet. Just want to stand here and stare at it. My first biggest concern when I was going to pick this up is that it would be real glass, but I knew sort of logically these things probably wouldn't be. It's much easier to work with these things when they're plexiglass, which it is. So, super awesome. All the shelves are plexiglass. It also means it's not as heavy as it could be. Uh, my second concern is how do I change it as non-destructively as possible into a Lego cabinet so I can put it over here. Uh, well, this is difficult, but luckily this artwork I thought I was going to have to cover up or paint or something. They're just magnets, so I could save them, and if somehow, for no reason, one day this thing's worth a fortune, I could sell it. I sort of doubt it, though. But the real problem here is that we have this actual laser cut lettering for the date. The only way that this is absolute perfection if is if somehow Lego was invented in 37. I googled when was Lego invented and the results said 1932. I googled when did Lego come out and the Google result was 1958. 
I'm not really going to do any extensive research there. But either way, it was not 1937. 1937 was, however, the year before my grandmother was born. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm kind of thinking something like get these longer Lego pieces and, and just cover that like this all the way around and put some sort of like artwork mural thing that's sort of matching all the way around. You know, maybe not a white one, but a red one. It's the best idea I've had so far. It is just a double-sided adhesive holding the diffusers in. Uh, they're not multiple pieces like I thought, but that's okay. I'm gonna see if I can't whip something up today to just try this out. Ooh, okay. I'm just gonna go humor myself down in the shop and see if there's any way to remove these layers and reuse this white diffusion layer. You'd think you could just turn it around, right? But the moment there's light shining through, it still comes through. So let's give her a shot. Let's get something thin. Maybe it'll separate as easy as it came off the thing. Huh. Yeah, it's like it's like the double-sided tape that was holding on. It's sort of rubbery, and once you get it moving, it just peels. So I think we're gonna be okay. Not the first light fixture I've remanned. Okay, I almost cut myself. All right, the diffusion board is now reusable, and now we have just a neat see-through red. Now the glue's just peeling off. I wish I had some of this. It's not even glue. It's double-sided tape. I wish I had some of this high-dollar double-sided tape that was used to make this. Probably gonna have to order some. What do we do? Do we sell them? Do we hang them up? It's hard to say. Just boom, hang it right there. And now we're gonna go make our own designs. Allow me to show you why having a workshop full of tools is the best thing ever. Let's go, let's go. Are you ready for the super, super rough draft? I ordered different filament to print this in that's gonna be see-through, so I think it'll be better. But for now, it already looks pretty great. <laughs> I just sorta of threw it up with some double-sided tape. So it's, it's not done, but I, I had to know what it was going to look like. Uh, I'm going to, the next version, again, is going to be see-through, but I'm going to do black on this outer line. Uh, and then leave the letters white, where they'll be illuminated from the back. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't. I can't believe it. It's Friday, and we have about 80 yard sales written down to potentially go to. I can't really do the math on whether that's possible yet, but we'll find out. And also, it's raining like crazy. And how much is on this Captain America poster? Uh, uh, two dollars. All right. I haven't even had time, but yeah, no, this is just like the first round here. Okay. How many shoes did you score at that first one? I think 19 pair. 19 for good, 25. Good start for the day. Yeah. I bought a bag of connects. If they're cheap, I don't pass up any connects. I'm going to just fill a giant table full of them. 10 bucks for all of them. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. How much for all these? I think my son, he put it like... Peely's baby? Oh God, they might, you know. My nephew's birthday is tomorrow and he wants a pair of Peely's. I hope these fit. Looky. Toy Story potato headset. Oh, that's cute. I can't even get my camera out fast enough to get her shoe deals. She's got two bags over there, and I got a bag over here. This connects and just, there's like five yards on this block. We haven't even started yet. On me? How much does the TV have on it? So I bought a TV at Yard Sales last week that only had RF and didn't have compositor component. So that will now be our Wii TV. Fingers crossed it works. I paid like, at the end I kind of paid eight bucks for it, I think. That's a great idea. Any idea if this works? Yes. It does work? Yeah, I just put new batteries in it. Fantastic. Just hit the on button. And how much on your picture frames? A dollar. 
shoes or nah, bruh. Little baby girl shoes. We saw our glasses or nah, they were 50 cents and the car is filling up. You want to rank these glasses? <laughs> I like them. <laughs> all of those? Or yeah. Is that someone else's? Can you oh, that's Allie's. Allie. So maybe she'll go half on those. 15 for these. Okay. I was just about to leave this sale. And then boom. What? We take 15 for it? Yep. That'll work. I'll give you a 20 for that and this. this these pegboard these are pegboard hooks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you want to do a deal for these 16 pairs all together? I guess, yeah. Sure. What do you think? 20? Okay. okay. I don't know if you saw it that last one, but I bought a guitar. A knockoff SG. dollars a piece on those games is pretty awesome. It's a really good deal, really. How much on your Pokemon stuff? Um, five dollars each. Um, so these. Yeah. I'm only selling for five dollars because this one is missing its tie. It okay. works, but it's just. How much do you have on your Lego stuff? Are they all marked or? Um. Would you do 30 for the Lego stuff with the two books? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Huge Lego haul, some books, some inbox stuff. Pretty sure I can sell that for 30 bucks on time. And then Pokemon cards. One deck. And I don't even know what's in here, but it's heavy. Oh yeah, that's what I want to see. You want to do it again, aren't you? So that would be $9, so what if we went 7 get your hair free? It always gets really late in the day and I sort of stop filming, but $2 bandsaw but the cord's cut, so I just gotta fix that. $10 on the mop, mop bucket, talk them down a little bit. You gotta take some of these t-shirts out real quick and show them. These are just shop supplies, prop school sticks. So, vintage, this is actually vintage. It sort of doesn't look like it because of the fade, but it is. It's from like 98, Mortal Kombat t-shirt. These are pretty new, but I'm going to throw them in the antique mall. There's two or three Harley Davidson shirts. So this is actually vintage also. So that's an easy 15 bucks. It's been a while since I sell an adult clothing on Depop and stuff. I used to sell this stuff like crazy. Here we go. Opening the door. Hopefully nothing falls out. Whew. Look at all that. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. My bucket much needed. Dust mop even more needed. Appropriate width for our aisles. Stick around and see what else we got. We'll go through it all at once. Because there's yesterday's stuff. We topped yesterday, that's for sure. That is the old TV. Here's the one we just picked up. And it's got a VHS inside. You want to take bets on what it is? Pocahontas. Let's go. We bought not one, but two pairs of Heelys. And interestingly, I didn't know that the little kid Heelys come with two wheels on them, but they do. Uh, those are way too small for my nephew. My nephew's birthday party is tomorrow, and we got him a pair. And they're just like a size, maybe half a size, too small. Are big, not small. They're a size too big. His mom said, should probably get him a three. These are four, so he'll, he'll be able to use them and grow into them. They fit in this box. I'm just gonna sort of swip and look. There's spare parts. I wonder if they fit that. I think they do. Look at that. He's gonna have a good birthday. I called his dad, my brother, and said, "What size does he wear?" I think I found a pair of Heelys. He's like, "Dude, he's gonna freak out." That's all he's been asking for. Yard sales win again. That's by far the biggest pile of pickups from yard sales I think we've ever brought back. What do you think? That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. And we're gonna go through it, I mean, just as simply as we can. If I showed you everything that was in that pile, this video would be two hours long. Let's do a lap around the store where I'm gonna show you some of the other stuff we picked up and uh, a little bit of an update on some of the store fixtures in the store. So 
First, let's start with this lava lamp. It's not a lava lamp, it's a glitter lamp. And if you're not familiar, both lava lamps and glitter lamps have a heating element down here that both provide light for the lamp, but also the heat is what facilitates the movement. Now, I'll be happy with you, I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely happy with uh, how bright that lamp is. In here, it doesn't look lit up at all. I mean, you can see the movement if you're close, but from across the store, I don't really see it lighting up. So I might add some LEDs to just make it brighter and then probably gonna paint this in this yellow and then put a duck on top, something like that. Not 100% sure, but I, I bought it because it's blue and it fits the blue yellow theme or can fit the blue yellow theme of the store. Now, um, our, our uh, boxes down here are lit up. They're a work in progress. Uh, they're not a lot of fun to work with, I'll be honest with you, but it is gonna be nice once it's all filled with Pokemon cards. Uh, one of the best buys that uh, I've had at St. Vincent de Paul in a little while. So it painted up really well too. And I knew it would, cause it's sort of this textured, uh, you can't, you're not gonna see it, but I, I just know when I touch this metal, I can spray paint the crap out of it. It looks like it came yellow. Uh, so I don't have a lot of Nintendo power. Got plenty of game informers. I'll also put like uh, maybe gaming manuals in it also or something like that, but that was awesome, which frees this up. I bought at, uh, no, this was a, a marketplace pickup ages ago, but it is four comic books. And honestly, I bought it for magazines, but I hated it. See how they lean forward? When you have comic books in here in their uh, plastic uh, board back plastic bags, they set up and it's nice and I have dividers to space out for comic books. So I'll get that painted probably yellow and put comic books in it. Uh, here's an update that's pretty cool. I got these four tables last week at yard sales and I built them out and painted them blue and yellow and started throwing stuff in them. And I have these license plates that are wrestling related that are just the perfect size. Check that out. So I'm kind of actually just from that alone thinking I'm about to order a big round of license plates to just decorate the sides of all of these tables. Like, you know, the, the license plate that the Toyota has on from Toy Story would be pretty cool. Probably an alien license plate. I don't know. I'm just, I really think that'd be pretty cool. I really do. So that these tables are nice. I don't even know what I'm going to put in these other two yet. I sort of thought Beyblade on that one. So I don't know if I'm happy with it. And then maybe board games in this one. Something like that. But that was, a, that was a nice addition for this week. And then that brings us to our crap, right? And I don't even know what you guys want to see. You saw most of the good stuff in the clips that we shot. I mean, Lauren, how many shoes do you think you bought? Over 100. Does that put us over 1,000 shoes? Yes, for sure. That's crazy. Um, I don't even know what to show you guys. I'm, I'm honestly standing here. It makes me a little anxious. And this is probably something really stupid to complain about. But the reality is, is that like, we've been doing this every weekend and it's been bringing in sufficient stock for sure. Like the Lego is crazy. I mean, and it's full of minifig. And the more minifig we buy, the more this cabinet that we just got gets filled up. And I don't even have them all here, but I've got these big plates that fit in here perfectly. And it's literally just gonna be Lego. Mini figs, mini figs, mini figs. And on top of that, they're expensive as heck, but they make these big clear Lego plates that will allow the light to continue to shine all the way down that I'm gonna probably put in here, but they're like 50, $60 a piece. So it's a couple hundred dollars worth of Lego plates. But once we have them, we'll have them. But what I'm saying is it stresses me out because not only do I have to go sort all this Lego, we're running out of room to put our shoes up and then like video games. This is probably what a lot of you want to see. This was just an awesome fat stack of video games. A lady was super happy to get them out of her garage. I mean, Mario Party 7, come on. Super Mario Smash Brothers, a couple Switch games. And there's more. I'm not going to show them one by one, but this is all good stuff. And I've been a little embarrassed that we don't have more video games to fill up our video game table over there. But after a couple more hauls like that, we're going to be there. But what stresses me out is that just about every Monday, I have to come edit this video and then have to spend the rest of Monday and Tuesday just putting away what we bought on the weekend. And it starts to sort of feel like it's taken away from time to spend on the store. It's It just feels like, and that's okay, but it's just right now I'm just dreading putting all this away because I don't know where half of it needs to go. I really don't. Like, 
I don't have a place for manga yet. This is probably my 10th big manga haul in the last couple weeks, which means I've got no place where I need to build a table or a bit of infrastructure in the store for manga, right? Which I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You gotta be manga display recommendations. Please drop them below. This one brings up another one. I, I've, because I bought this shelf, the whole Lego setup is changing. I'm gonna take these red shelves down that I thought were awesome. I gotta put something way bigger and better because in the way the store's designed in my head right now, I'm just gonna have this 10 by 10 space be the Lego space. And it's, it's really not enough. It's not enough for what I want. So what really happens is I need to begin to decide what to have out on open and what percentage or portion of it do I put back in the back of the store in order to have stuff to restock with. But we just bought this. I think I gave 10 bucks for it and it's more inbox Lego, which I really want for the store. Uh, I know I'm gonna say, okay, that's it guys. I'm gonna be like, man, I wish I showed them this, but I feel like you saw the best of the best in the video. Uh, these portable bandsaws are really, really useful. Really, really useful. So I'm happy to have that. I uh, gotta do a little fixing up on it. Probably put a new belt on it. Squishmallows, we're out of room for which, look at this, our Squishmallow bin just full to the top uh pokemon stuff we could use a little more we have Char charmanders over here though that's pretty cool uh i don't think i got a good clip of this on the video another bag full of goosebumps and these uh pre-goosebumps rl stein books which will probably go on ebay maybe i've got a bunch now so maybe a few in the store a few on ebay but I sell those pretty easily on eBay. I've got some store fixtures to build around the store for rubber ducks, but we're also doing stuff where we give them away to kids. So that's a pretty good candidate for kids. Uh, let's walk these over here so I can show you the Imaginex setup. We want a wide variety of toys in the store. So I'm sort of uh, not 100% sure what to do with some of this extra stuff. Like that's enough, right? But then I have 20 more of these. So what do I do? Just keep a couple out. Do I make the Imagine X section bigger? It's getting to where I could use a table that's that big for the Imagine X. None of this is impossible to figure out. It's just, as you can see, with just about everything I've shown you store fixture wise, we just have to make decisions and go with it, right? Because this table a week ago looked perfect for how many 12 inch action figures we have. And I brought another 10 or 12 of these home from this weekend's yard sales. And they're gonna fill it up good, which means do I decide to make a bigger table for it before open? Or do I keep half the stock in the back of the store? I don't know, decisions I have to make. But you guys comment below and let us know what your favorite thing that we got at this week's yard sale trip was. Was it the 6,000 pairs of shoes? Was it uh, the Lego? For me, it was probably Lego. And we'll include in Lego this cabinet because you know, though it's not done, it's gonna be pretty great. Uh, I've got my 3D printer downstairs running right now, printing the uh, final, final, final uh, print for the Lego light box. So if you wanna see what that looks like, make sure you're subscribed and turn those notifications on, come back next week. I'm sure you'll see this bad boy all lit up in the back of our toy store. Until next time, guys, peace out.